Have you ever wondered where the German people truly come from? What ancient tribes, migrations, and empires shaped their DNA over thousands of years? From the fierce Germanic warriors of antiquity to the complex genetic tapestry of modern Germany, the story of the German people is a thrilling journey through time, filled with surprising twists and revelations. In this video, we'll dive deep into the genetic origins of the German people, uncovering the secrets hidden in their DNA. We'll explore how ancient tribes like the Saxons, Franks, and Goths left their mark, how historical events like the Roman Empire and World War II shaped their genetic legacy, and what modern science reveals about who the Germans really are. Whether you're of German descent or just fascinated by history and genetics, this video will take you on an unforgettable journey into the past, one that might even change how you see yourself. So grab a seat and get ready to uncover the complete DNA history of the German people. Let's begin. Let's start at the very beginning. Where did the German people come from? To answer this, we need to go back thousands of years, long before Germany was even a country. The story begins with ancient tribes who roamed Europe, leaving their mark on the DNA of modern Germans. The Germanic tribes like the Saxons, Franks, and Goths are the most famous ancestors of today's Germans. But they weren't alone. The Celts, who once dominated much of Central Europe, also played a role. And let's not forget the Slavs, who settled in the eastern parts of what is now Germany. These groups mixed over centuries, creating a unique genetic blend. But the story goes even further back. Around 5,000 years ago, the Indo-European migrations brought people from the steppes of modern-day Russia and Ukraine into Europe. These migrants carried new languages, cultures, and of course, DNA. They mixed with local populations, laying the foundation for many European groups, including the Germans. So when we talk about the genetic origin of the German people, it's not just one group or one moment in history. It's a mix of ancient tribes, migrations, and cultures that came together over thousands of years. And this is just the beginning of the story. Stick around as we dive deeper into how history shaped German DNA. Now that we've covered the ancient origins, let's fast forward to a time of massive change, the Migration Period, also known as the Volker Wanderum. This was a chaotic era, roughly between the 4th and 6th centuries, when entire populations were on the move across Europe. During this time, Germanic tribes expanded their territories, clashing with the Roman Empire. The Romans, who controlled parts of modern-day Germany, left behind more than just roads and ruins. They left a genetic imprint. Roman soldiers, traders, and settlers mixed with local populations, adding to the diversity of German DNA. But the Romans weren't the only ones. The Vikings, known for their raids and explorations, also made their way into Germany. While their impact wasn't as massive as in Scandinavia, they still left a small but noticeable genetic mark. And then there were the Huns and other nomadic tribes from Central Asia. These fierce warriors swept through Europe, causing upheaval and leaving behind traces of their DNA. While their direct genetic contribution might be small, their influence on the movement of people reshaped the genetic landscape of Germany. This period of migration and mixing was like a giant puzzle, with each group adding a piece to the genetic story of the German people. But the story doesn't end here. Next, we'll explore how regional differences within Germany tell their own fascinating tale. Germany isn't just one big genetic monolith. It's a patchwork of regional differences. From the snowy Alps of Bavaria to the flat plains of the north, each region has its own unique genetic story. Let's start with the north and south. Northern Germans, especially those in areas like Lower Saxony, often have genetic ties to the Saxons and other Germanic tribes. Southern Germans, particularly in Bavaria, show more Celtic influence, thanks to the ancient Celtic tribes that once dominated the region. Then there's the East-West Divide. Eastern Germany has a stronger Slavic genetic component, reflecting centuries of migration and settlement by Slavic peoples. In contrast, Western regions like the Rhineland have more Roman and Frankish influences. Even within regions, there are differences. Bavarians, for example, have a distinct genetic profile compared to Saxons or Rhinelanders. These differences were shaped by centuries of history, including the Holy Roman Empire, which brought people together, but also reinforced regional identities. So, what does this mean for modern Germans? 
It means that your DNA might tell a very different story depending on where your ancestors came from. Germany's genetic diversity is a reflection of its complex history, a history that continues to shape its people today. And that's the incredible story of the German people and their DNA. From ancient tribes to modern regions, it's a journey through time that connects us all. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating stories from history. Now let's zoom in on the Germanic tribes, the legendary ancestors of modern Germans. These tribes weren't just warriors from history books. They were real people who shaped the DNA of millions today. The Saxons, Franks, and Goths are some of the most famous. The Saxons, who settled in northern Germany, left a strong genetic mark in regions like Lower Saxony and Schleswig-Holstein. The Franks, who ruled much of western Germany, influenced areas like the Rhineland. And the Goths, though they migrated far and wide, also contributed to the genetic mix. But it's not just about these big names. The Teutonic Knights, a medieval military order, played a role too. While they're better known for their campaigns in Eastern Europe, they also influenced German genetics by bringing people together through conquest and settlement. And let's not forget the Scandinavians. The Vikings, with their raids and trade routes, left a small but noticeable genetic footprint in northern Germany. This connection explains why some Germans share DNA with modern Scandinavians. These tribes and groups didn't just disappear. They became part of the genetic fabric of Germany. Their legacy lives on in the DNA of modern Germans, connecting the past to the present in ways we're only beginning to understand. Stick around as we explore how this genetic history shapes German identity today. DNA doesn't just tell us where we come from, it also helps us understand who we are. For Germans, this means exploring how their genetic history connects them to the rest of Europe. So how does German DNA compare to other European populations? While Germans share a lot of genetic similarities with their neighbors, they're closest to the Dutch and the English, thanks to shared Germanic roots. But they also have ties to the Poles and other Slavic groups, especially in Eastern Germany. In fact, studies show that Germans share about 50 to 60% of their DNA with neighboring countries. This isn't surprising, given centuries of migration, trade, and conflict. Historical borders, like those of the Holy Roman Empire or the Prussian Empire, played a big role in shaping these genetic connections. But DNA isn't just about borders. It's about people. The mixing of populations during wars, like the Thirty Years' War or World War II, also left a lasting impact. These events brought people together in ways that changed the genetic landscape of Germany forever. So, what does this mean for German identity? It means that being German isn't just about language or culture, it's about a shared genetic history that connects them to the wider European family. And that's a story worth exploring. Next, we'll look at what modern science has to say about German ancestry. Thanks to modern science, we're learning more about German ancestry than ever before. DNA testing companies like 23andMe and Ancestry DNA have opened a window into the past, revealing surprising details about the genetic history of the German people. One of the biggest discoveries is the diversity of German DNA. Studies show that the most common haplogroups in Germany, genetic markers passed down through generations, are R1b and I1. These haplogroups are linked to ancient European populations, including the Indo-Europeans and early Germanic tribes. But there are also some unexpected findings. For example, some Germans have traces of DNA from the Mediterranean or even the Middle East, likely due to ancient trade routes or Roman influence. Others have small amounts of East Asian DNA, a reminder of the Huns and other nomadic tribes who passed through Europe. These discoveries are changing how we think about German origins. They show that Germany's genetic history is far more complex and interconnected than we once thought. And it's not just about the past, it's about the future. As more people take DNA tests, we're learning how migration and mixing continue to shape German DNA today. It's a living story, one that connects us all. So what does your DNA say about you? Whether you're German or just curious about your roots, the answers might surprise you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating stories from history. History isn't just about dates and battles, it's also about people. 
And when it comes to German DNA, some of the most dramatic changes happened during major historical events. Take the Thirty Years' War, for example. This devastating conflict in the 17th century wiped out nearly a third of Germany's population. But it also led to migrations and mixing, as people fled, destroyed towns, and resettled in new areas. This reshuffling of populations left a lasting mark on German genetics. Fast forward to the Prussian Empire. Prussia's expansion brought together people from across Central and Eastern Europe, creating a melting pot of genetic diversity. The legacy of this empire can still be seen in the DNA of modern Germans, especially in the East. Then there's World War II. The war and its aftermath caused massive population movements, with millions of Germans fleeing or being expelled from Eastern Europe. This upheaval brought new genetic influences into Germany, further diversifying its DNA. And let's not forget the division of Germany into East and West. For decades, the Iron Curtain limited movement between the two regions, leading to subtle genetic differences that scientists are still studying today. These events show how history isn't just written in books, it's written in our DNA. Next, we'll explore how German genetics compare to other populations around the world. How does German DNA stack up against other groups? Let's take a closer look. Germans share a lot of genetic similarities with their neighbors. For example, they're closely related to the British and Dutch, thanks to their shared Germanic roots. But they also have strong ties to the French, especially in regions that were once part of the Frankish Empire. When it comes to Slavic peoples, the connection is strongest in Eastern Germany. This reflects centuries of migration and mixing between Germanic and Slavic tribes. But there are also some surprising links. For instance, studies have found genetic similarities between Germans and Ashkenazi Jews, likely due to shared ancestry in medieval Europe. And then there's Neanderthal DNA. Like most Europeans, Germans carry a small amount of Neanderthal genes, about 1 to 2 percent. This ancient DNA is a reminder of the deep roots we all share. These comparisons show that German DNA is part of a much larger story, one that connects them to people across Europe and beyond. But with so much mixing, are there any myths we need to clear up? Let's find out in the next chapter. Let's tackle some myths about German DNA. One of the biggest is the idea of a pure Germanic race. The truth, there's no such thing. German DNA is a mix of ancient tribes, migrations, and historical events. The concept of racial purity is a myth, and science proves it. Another misconception is the idea of Aryan ancestry. This term, often misused in history, has no basis in genetics. The so-called Aryan race was a fabricated concept, not a genetic reality. So, what are the biggest misconceptions about German DNA? First, that it's uniform. As we've seen, Germany's genetic diversity is vast, with regional differences shaped by centuries of history. Second, that it's isolated. German DNA is deeply connected to the rest of Europe and beyond. Finally, some people think DNA can define nationality or culture. But genetics is just one piece of the puzzle. Being German is about more than just DNA, it's about language, culture, and shared history. By understanding these myths, we can appreciate the true complexity and beauty of German ancestry. It's a story of mixing, migration, and connection, one that reminds us how intertwined we all are. What does the future hold for understanding German ancestry? The answer is, a lot. Genetic research is advancing faster than ever, and new discoveries are just around the corner. One exciting area is the use of ancient DNA. Scientists are now able to extract and analyze DNA from bones and artifacts thousands of years old. This means we can learn even more about the Germanic tribes, the Celts, and other ancient groups that shaped German genetics. Another breakthrough is in DNA sequencing technology. As it becomes faster and cheaper, researchers can study larger and more diverse populations. This could reveal hidden connections between Germans and other groups, or uncover surprising migrations that we don't yet know about. There are also ongoing projects focused on German history. For example, some studies are mapping the genetic differences between regions in Germany, while others are exploring the impact of historical events like the World Wars. These projects are helping us build a clearer picture of how Germany's genetic diversity came to be. But the future isn't just about science. It's about people. As more individuals take DNA tests, we're creating a global database that can help us understand our shared history. 
This means the story of German DNA is still being written, and you could be part of it. So what's next? The possibilities are endless, and the discoveries will keep coming. But for now, let's wrap up this incredible journey through the genetic history of the German people. And there you have it, the complete DNA history of the German people, from ancient tribes to modern science. We've explored how migrations, wars, and cultural exchanges shaped German genetics and how DNA connects Germans to the wider world. This story isn't just about the past, it's about understanding who we are today. Whether you're of German descent or just fascinated by history, this journey reminds us that we're all part of a bigger picture. Do you think your DNA reflects your German heritage? How much do you know about your own genetic origins? Would you take a DNA test to learn more about your German ancestry? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into history and science. And let us know in the comments what surprised you the most about German DNA. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.